Hey Westfield, I'm John, and here are your Rock TV announcements. Famous Phil's will be closed for lunch today. The Winter Blood Drive is scheduled for Wednesday, March 7th from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the upper gym. By donating one unit of blood, you can save three lives. You must be 17 to donate or 16 with a parent consent form. Consent form can be found outside of Mrs. King's room 2407 and at the information desk. To sign up, visit our Twitter page at Westfield Rock TV for the link. This Valentine's Day, donate new or gently used stuffed animals to local children in need. The drive will be going on till Friday the 16th and collection will be in a box in the Learning Center. Make a kid's Valentine's Day great with just one simple donation. This project is sponsored by the Freshman and Key Club. Co-op students need to turn in their sixth and final evaluation tomorrow in the tray located in the Counseling Center. Tomorrow, February 15th, the WHS basketball cheer team will be hosting a Dine to Donate fundraiser at Big Hoffa's. You'll need to show the flyer at checkout. The flyers are available at the information desk. Thank you in advance for your support. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Another dance marathon ad. But it's our last one because the marathon is only one week away. You don't want to miss this incredible opportunity. And in the wise words of Mrs. Gibbs, you don't want to miss out on the magic that happens at this event. Don't let her down or me. So we interviewed some people about Dance Marathon to get them hyped for this event. Do you like glow sticks? Yeah. Do you like raves? Yes. <laughs> Do you like your friends? Yes. Do you like dancing? Yes. <laughs> Do you like saving lives? Yes. We come to Dance Marathon. Valentine's Day edition. What's your name? Peyton. Sam Smith, the panel, Rock TV. Jeff. Jake. Miss Grenage. Dylan. Ethan. And what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, probably hanging out with Danny Duncan. Yeah. Getting a check because I'm in love with this money. Going to Biagi's for dinner. Taking my girl out to dinner. Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing. We're going to Charleston's, yeah, the restaurant. Going, yeah. um, I think we're just going out to dinner and hanging out after. Do you want to shout out your Valentine? I would love to shout out Happy Valentine's Day to Arielle Grenage. She's my sweetheart. No. Mine's uh, Doris Katibi and Parker Grace. Adrian Montalumba on the side, Danny Duncan. Yeah, Jack Hagel from Garen. Woo! I'd like to shout out Peyton Kiddo. <laughs> Sam Smith. Go Anna, you rock. Cami Ferrari and my side valentine is Evan Yulin. Sunday, a Russian plane plummeted into a snowy field shortly after taking off from the Domodovo airport in Moscow, Russia. Nearly 25 miles away from the airport, the plane was found completely destroyed in a snowy field. It's reported that all of the 71 passengers were killed during the crash. The reason for the plane crash is still on, under investigation. Also, after two decades, a daughter is finally reunited with her birth parents. Gloria Williams kidnapped Camille Mobley in 1998, only a few hours after she was born. Williams was posing as a nurse at the hospital, and once got a hold of the newborn, she left with her. This Tuesday, she was finally pleaded guilty to kidnapping Mobley and received a sentence of 22 years in prison. This week in history, on February 13th in 1920, the National Negro Baseball League was established by Rube Foster and a large group of other team members. Ever since baseball had spread throughout the U.S. territories, African Americans had been playing it and playing it at a very high level. Rube Foster and the other team owners created this league in efforts to get the players the recognition they deserved. This was the first African American baseball circuit to remain stable and last for longer than a season. This league allowed for many players to become legends and eventually ended with Jackie Robinson getting his shot in the major leagues. 
On February 14th in 1929, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre occurred, marking the end of the gang war between Bugs Moran and Al Capone. On this day, four men from Capone's gang dressed as police officers and entered Moran's headquarters, lined up seven of his men, and shot them all to death. A bounty was placed on Capone's head, and this resulted in Capone calling, for, calling to have Moran's gang destroyed. On February 16th in 1923, archaeologist Howard Carter opened up the tomb of Egyptian ruler King Tut. Carter arrived in Egypt back in 1891 and was convinced that the tomb was still undiscovered. Carter began searching in 1917, backed by the funding of a rich man named Lord Carnarvon. Carter searched for five straight years very unsuccessfully and was told to end his searching. He was determined to find the tomb, however, and convinced Carnarvon to let him continue, and it paid off. Carter found hidden steps under some debris near one of the tombs, and it led him to one of the most important discoveries of that time. Hey Westfield, I'm Joe Mara, and this is your Rock Sports Update. The men's basketball team has been on a hot streak, winning three of the last four, having impressive wins over Hamilton Heights, number five ranked HSC, and Western Boone. Men's swimming and diving team has sectionals this weekend. Rock the pool. Go check it out. Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Meredith. Here's a look at what's happened with USA in the Olympics so far. Chloe Kim became the youngest halfpipe medalist in snowboarding Olympic history by racking up the two highest scores in the final. And the men's snowboard halfpipe qualifying Sean White dropped in and earned the top score of 98.5 to advance to the final. 17-year-old Red Gerard won the gold medal in the for the U.S. and was rewarded with an 87.16 from the judges, putting him in first place. Norway is still leading the way as of right now, but the Netherlands, Canada, and Germany are very close behind. Team USA is hanging just behind that top group for now. USA currently has three gold medals, one silver medal and two bronze medals, adding up to six medals in total. Make sure you cheer on your country and watch the upcoming events. Have a great Valentine's Day, Westfield.